Welcome to Healthy Living Corner. In today's video, I'll be sharing 5 ways to lose belly fat. Belly fat is the visceral fat surrounding the liver and other organs in the abdomen, close to the portal vein that carries blood to the liver. This fat can be harmful to the body when not properly managed. Losing weight in general is hard, but dropping belly fat in particular can feel insurmountable. However, let's look at what one can do to reduce belly fat. Number 1. Track your calories. The most basic approach to weight loss is burning more calories than you consume. For instance, since 3,500 calories equals 1 pound of fat, a weight loss app or even just a pen and paper can help you decide how many calories you need to cut from your diet or burn at the gym in order to meet your goals. An easy way to help you figure out what you need to hit your goal is to look at the National Institutes of Health's Body Weight Planner. This online tool asks you to enter in information about your current weight and activity level, along with what your weight loss goals are and how much time you want to spend reaching them. From there, it will give you an estimated amount of calories you should strive to eat each day. While it won't tell you exactly how to lose that weight off your belly, it can still help guide you overall. Number 2. Walk every day. If you don't have an established exercise routine, walking is a pretty good entry point for people. Obese women who did a walking program for 50 to 70 minutes 3 days per week for 12 weeks significantly slashed their visceral fat compared to a sedentary control group. One of the biggest mistakes people make when trying to lose weight is that they try to do too much too soon and get burnt out. Number 3. Try to limit your stress. Stress can mess with every part of your body but how you deal with it can make or break your weight loss goals. Stress makes us people more because they use food as a substitute for dealing with stress. The truth is, eating food to make yourself feel better is usually a whole lot easier than actually facing the stress head-on. Stress eating can only lead to one thing, growing your belly rather than whittling it. If you find yourself stress eating, take a step back and think, what's causing my stress, and what can I do about it? Find a way to remedy the solution or talk through it with a therapist rather than turning to a bag of Doritos. Number 4. Prioritize quality sleep. Sleep is huge when it comes to your weight loss success and that's both if you sleep too much or too little. Sleeping too much is probably not great for you health-wise but sleeping too little is worse. If you're only getting a minimal amount of sleep each night, that leaves more time for you to snack and make otherwise unhealthy decisions that could affect your weight loss. Although it will vary from person to person on how much sleep you actually need to be most effective and therefore make progress toward your weight loss goals, the ideal number is typically 7 or 8 hours. Number 5. Avoid sugary foods. Research has found a link between eating a lot of sugar and having higher amounts of belly fat. Added sugar is a very large contributor of excess calories. If you're not replacing it with other sources of calories, it can help contribute to a healthy calorie deficit and that will help you lose weight. Having too much sugar can also cause spikes and crashes in your blood glucose levels. And, when you have those crashes, it can make you feel tired and hungry, raising the risk that you'll overeat. A healthy diet and active lifestyle can help people lose excess belly fat and lower the risk of problems associated with it. Healthy living is a lifestyle. 